So let's look at how you can get the Zodiac FX connected and running. The first thing you need to do is go to the forum and select Zodiac FX General. Click on the link, latest versions of source code, firmware, user guides, and drivers, and make sure that you download the USB driver. You'll need that when you connect the Zodiac FX to your computer. So on my computer, when I go to Properties, Device Manager, under my COM ports, I can see that I have a device connected. The COM port COM8 is the port that I'm gonna to connect to using PuTTY. Your COM port may be different. Leave all the other settings at the defaults, so speed is 9,600 bits per second as an example. Just specify the COM port and then click Open. That'll then connect you to the Zodiac FX. There's no password to log in, so simply connect. I'll make this a bit bigger so that it's easier to see some of the options. So notice the first piece of information, type help. That shows you a list of commands. So notice the modes, base, config, open flow, debug. Help information is available in the user guide. In the user guide, the base, config, open flow, and debug modes are shown and information about commands are shown here very briefly. But as an example, if I type config, that takes me to config mode. If I type open flow, that takes me to open flow mode. Help shows me the options. So as an example, under base, I can see show ports, show status, and show version. So let's start with show version. The version of firmware that I'm currently running is 0 0.61. So some of the options may be different in your version if you've got a later version. Show status shows me information about the device, including the uptime. Show ports shows me that port 1, 2, and 3 are open flow ports in VLAN 100. Ports one and two are currently up. And that's because I've connected Raspberry Pis to port one and port two. Port three doesn't have a device connected at the moment, so the port is shown as down. Port four is connected to my home network, so the port is up. This is a non-open flow port, hence the word native. So these three ports are open flow enabled ports. This is a non-open flow enabled port. In other words, ports one, two, and three are open flow. Port four is non-open flow. Going to config mode and typing show config, I can see that the name of the device is the Zodiac FX. This is the MAC address. And here is default information. Notice default IP address, default net mask, default gateway, default controller, Default OpenFlow port. OpenFlow is enabled by default on the switch. Fail state is secure. Force OpenFlow mode is disabled. This is the stacking master. In other words, this jumper has been set on the switch. Stacking is not available at the moment. In future, stacking of Zodiac FXs may be supported. Show VLANs. Notice VLAN 100 is the OpenFlow VLAN and 200 is the controller or native VLAN. So non-open flow, open flow, show ports, not supported in this mode, go back to base mode, show ports, shows me that once again, ports one, two, and three are open flow enabled. Port four is a non-open flow enabled port. In the next video, I'll show you how to configure the device, but for now, remember to type help so you can see the different modes or contexts base, config, open flow, and debug, and the commands available in those modes.